Super Mario Bros. is a classic that everybody has played at one point in their lives. And if you haven't already, why don't you try playing it without touching a single coin? That's exactly what I'll be doing today, except I will be playing the sequel to this game, Super Mario Bros. 2. No, 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 not that one. The actual Super Mario Bros. 2 from Japan. It is also known as Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. The thing is, I prefer to play Super Mario Maker instead of the original NES console, as it looks and plays way better. Luckily for me, my friend Mega has decided to remake every single levels from that game in Super Mario Maker 2. Thank you Mega, you're the best. The rules are simple. We are going to be playing the remake of Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels in Super Mario Maker 2, playing one level after another while avoiding touching those ugly yellow things that people call coins. You see this lovely coin counter on the top left part of the screen over there? Well, we want to keep it at zero. And since this is a remake, every level is a separate one we need to select so there won't be any warp pipes or other cheats we can use to skip levels. We'll have to try to beat them all and hopefully this will be possible. Now that everything has been set, let's do this. World 1-1 is the first stop today, and this one is not very difficult, containing very few coins to dodge, so just avoid the many Koopas, plants and Goombas to reach the flagpole. 1-2 doesn't feature a single coin in your path, but it does contain a lot of green pipes, and almost all of them feature evil piranha plants. Be careful and you'll be good. 1-3 has a few coins here and there, but they're always located in very annoying places. Avoiding them all is not easy and will require a lot of precise jumps on those semi-solid platforms. You'll also need to keep running to get enough speed to make the jumps. It is a little bit difficult, but it is possible. 1-4 is the first castle level. And if you watched my previous Super Mario Bros without a coin video, then you'll know that Bowser's castle in the original Mario Bros games don't feature a lot of coins. In fact, most of the time, they don't even feature a single one. Hit that axe, defeat Bowser, and you'll be good to go. 2-1 is the perfect stage to talk about secret pipes in Super Mario Bros. They're located here and there in a lot of stages, and they all look similar. They look like this. Yeah, so as you can imagine, you don't want to go down those secret pipes, or else you'll have to grab a couple of ugly disgusting coins. Make sure to avoid going down the pipes and you'll soon get to the end. 2-2 has a couple of coins waiting to be collected up in the air, so you'll need to walk under them. There's one precise jump you have to make there under the coin, but it's not that difficult. So normally to make your way over there, you'd want to hit those secret blocks and you'd want to get on top of the pipe, but those blocks give out the dirty coin, so you won't want to do that that time around. But if you just run and jump above the pit, you can clear it, so no worries. 2-3 is full of flying cheap cheeps, and although there's a couple of evil coins here and there, they're all pretty easy to avoid. 2-4 does not contain a single coin, so this one's a freebie. World 3-1 does contain some coins here and there, but they're super easy to dodge, so getting to the end coinless is not very difficult. 3-2 is our first underwater stage in this quest, and this one does contain a lot of coins, but since we can swim around, there are multiple paths to avoid them. I have to point out that this part was very tedious, forcing you to swim in between a block and a bunch of coins, and that was a little bit stressful, but not impossible. 3-3 scared me from the very beginning, when I saw the thumbnail for the stage. I mean, that doesn't look promising with all of those coins, and actually that's the only part that will be difficult to clear for this stage. You'll have to jump from this platform to that pipe to then make your way up there while avoiding those coins. Really stressful jumps, but all possible. 3-4 is a castle, so guess what? It doesn't contain a single coin. 4-1 is the first stage to introduce Lekidu and this bad boy is annoying, throwing out spinies at me, and he got me at one point too, so you know what, I just got mad, got my revenge, and stole his cloud to make my way to the flagpole. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not the intended way of clearing the stage, but it worked. 4-2 does contain more annoying Lekidus to deal with, but it thankfully doesn't contain a single coin. 4-3 does contain a couple of coins here and there, but they're never in the way, so avoiding them is not very difficult. This part here scared me, but I just decided to run and jump, and everything was fine. 4-4 contains a grand total of zero coins, you know, like every castle we've seen so far, so it is an easy one. 
5-1 is also a stage that doesn't contain a single coin, so there's nothing to say about it. 5-2 takes place underground, and features this one single precise jump in between coins and blocks. It is scary and precise, but very possible. 5-3 is a very difficult stage, as it does contain its fair share of ugly coins. The ending is especially brutal, with all of those coins on the lift platforms. Thankfully, a very precise jump will do the trick, and this stage will be complete. 5-4 is a castle stage, so you know the drill, there's no coin- Whoa, wait a minute, am I dreaming? Coins in a castle stage? Huh, <laughs> weird. Thankfully, they're all pretty easy to dodge, but still, what the heck? 6-1 is a level that gave me a really hard time. It is all fun and games until you reach this very tall green pipe. There's no way to jump above it. And what you're meant to do is to hit this invisible block to make your way up there. But obviously the block gives you the dirty coin. I tried using the hammer bro, a bullet bill and even a koopa to try to land on top of the green pipe, but it's just no use. However, I had this one idea I really needed to try before calling the stage impossible. What if I wait for the hammer bro to jump and then jump on his head as he is super high up in the sky? This might work, in theory, cause getting this to happen is extremely unlikely as this hammer bro's jumping pattern is pretty much random. I tried over and over again, failing every single time. Up until a million years later, every star aligned in the sky and this happened. Whoa, now this is epic. Woo, I'm doing the Mario dance because I'm really happy about it. I still cannot believe I pulled this off. But thanks to that epic gamer move, this level is possible. 6-2 is an underwater stage, so even though it features a lot of evil coins, there's a lot of space to dodge them all, so it's an easy one. 6-3 has a couple of coins here and there, but you can dodge them all very easily. 6-4 is a castle stage that doesn't contain a single coin. 7-1 also doesn't feature a single coin in our path. Same thing for 7-2, which is mostly a stage involving you standing on a platform moving to the right. Is it me or is this quest getting easier and easier? 7-3 does feature lots of very stressful jumps to make on those springs, and it requires lots of leaps of faith, which I am not a fan of. But thankfully, there's only a few coins near the end, and we can just make our way under them all. 7-4 does contain lava, fire bars, and other hazards, but it doesn't contain a single coin. 8-1 is also coinless, so it will be done in no time. 8-2 does contain a few coins here and there, but they're always out of your way, so you can just ignore them altogether and you'll be good. 8-3 is easy and doesn't feature a single coin on your path. 8-4 has zero coins, as it is a standard castle stage. World 9-1 takes place underwater and features lots of enemies you usually don't see in that game theme, like Hammer Bros, Koopas, and Lakitus. While it does have tons of enemies, it lacks any coin, so let's move on. 9-2 has a couple of coins on those semi-solid platforms, but it's super easy to just swim above them all. 9-3 does feature a hidden passage to the sky, and there you'll find lots of gross coins. But we're not even forced to go there, so let's just ignore this and make our way to the flagpole. 9-4 doesn't contain a single coin, but I mean, were you expecting anything else? 8-1 does contain a whole lot of coins over there, but they're not mandatory, so let's move right instead and avoid them all. 8-2 takes place underground and doesn't contain a single coin. Nice. A-3 is a very difficult stage. First off, there's a lot of annoying cheap cheeps trying to eat you alive, which is pretty annoying. Then, there's the fact that those jumps feature evil coins and dodging them is not easy. To dodge those three coins over there, I actually had to rely on the cheap cheeps down there to make my way to the other side. Very stressful jump, but possible. And then, you'll reach this part. Uh oh how am I supposed to jump above all of those evil coins? There's just no way! Is this the end of this quest? Well, I thought so, but I had another idea that I needed to try before calling it quit. Near the beginning of the stage, there's this flying blooper there. Let's call him Bloopy the Blooper. So my new strat was to bring Bloopy with me to that part with all of those evil coins. Let me tell you, this is easier said than done as Bloopy doesn't like to be told what to do. 
you'll have to keep baiting him and still do this epic cheap cheap jump too. But eventually, he'll get there and uh, I messed it up and I grabbed this coin. Uh. One hour later, I did it. So yeah, it is possible. It's just really tedious, painful and slow. But still, thank you Bloopy the Blooper, I'll always remember you. A-4 is a classic castle stage featuring zero coins. B-1 doesn't feature a single coin either. B-2 has lots of cheap cheats and lots of coins, but once again, it is an underwater stage, so it is pretty easy to avoid them all. B-3 could have been tricky if it wasn't for the epic Banzai build that helps us move above those coins over there. Thankfully, the Banzai was there, so we good. Guess what? B-4 doesn't have a single coin. And guess what again? C-1 also doesn't have a single coin. Huh. C-2 is a bit annoying, because you'll have to avoid some coins while dodging the cheap cheeps trying to attack you. And this part near the end is really difficult and requires pinpoint precision jumping but it is possible nonetheless. C-3 is an easy stage, just grab a Likidu Cloud and move right. Sure, there is a couple of coins near the end, but we don't have to go anywhere near them. C-4 has zero coins, but it still has this hidden fire bar down there, and I got lay epic trolled by it. But by looking at all those little death bubbles, I'm not the only one. D-1 doesn't feature a single coin, what a shock. D-2 is also a very easy stage, containing a couple of precise jumps, but no annoying coins though. D-3 contains lots of hammer bros and bullet bills, but zero coins, so yay I guess. D-4 is the final level for this remake, and it is a castle level. So you know, we're good to go my dudes, let's just go down that pipe and get that epic victory right- uh, wh What? Coins? What? Seriously? Unavoidable coins in a castle level? No, no, no. Unavoidable coins in the last castle level of the game? Why, Nintendo? Why, Mega? Why, everybody? So I decided to explore the castle and check the map online and found a mushroom near the beginning. I thought I could use the mushroom to break some bricks and maybe skip that level, but we are actually forced to collect some evil, yucky, gross-looking, stinky, poopy coins. I'm so sad. So, is it possible to beat the remake of Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels by Mega without touching a single coin? No, it's not. And that's because of the very last level, World D-4. Why would you put those coins there? Why? After the epic pixel perfect hammer bro jump, after the incredible bloopy the blooper jump, I cannot believe that this single room there with an avoidable coin is what defeated me. And this makes me a little bit sad. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you'd like to cheer me up, well, hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell would probably bring back a smile on my face. If not, that's okay too, I'm not forcing anyone. If you'd like to see more Mario games done without a coin, well, tap the cards on screen right now to binge watch the entire series. I mean, what else do you have to do today, let's be real. Alright my dudes, I will see you in the next one.